Well, hello everyone. It is me once again. It is Team Ara. Have you seen watch the very first video of the day? Probably not. Probably only see the second video of the day. Go see the very first one for crying out loud. But anyway, follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, and my own personal Facebook page. Those in those social media accounts will always be down below the article will be down below the link will be down below now it's time once again to discuss wrestling news wrestling topics and a lot of awesome information to discuss for you now sit back relax put your feet up grab some meat grab some drink now if you don't do like that maybe you want you like a villain and hear my thoughts my opinions on this subject and of course the article will be down below let's roll this i have an update about sharda flair woo rick flair's daughter okay the two-time, two-time WWE Hall of Famer, the legend himself, Ric Flair, discuss, uh, I just say discuss, appeared as a guest on a Wrestling Inc. daily podcast in a death interview, long-time friend, etc., etc. You guys can read it. Okay. Let's discuss this. Um, You know what? I'll give you the link. There's an article plus there's a video. Um, let me see here. I'm trying to find it here. Something about Charlotte Flair. Okay, I'll just give you a headliner, okay? Rick Flair updates those fans on Charlotte Flair. She's likely out for a year. Wow. For an injury, that's fine by me, because I'm not a fan of her whatsoever, because she's definitely a, like a Roman Reigns version of the female version, always get the major pushes and, you know, I guess, my opinion is I think Shirley Flair sucks up to McMahon, because she's related to, I mean, she's the, the daughter of the legend, the two-time Ric Flair. That's why she get the opportunity. I know she's good, and you know she good. She cut great promos, but you never know what happens backstage. Maybe she kisses up to make man flirt with him. You never know. I know he's a married man, but that does not stop McMahon before. You know what I'm saying? Some of these ladies, back in the day, they get special treatment. I'm just taking a wild guess. I could be right. I could be wrong. Now for guys, it's kind of Weird suck up I me, mean, probably they suck up to McMahon, but in a different way, you know. So, um, I mean, Charlotte's good, don't get me wrong, but she's I know people say she's the GOAT. The only reason she's the GOAT, she's Ric Flair's daughter. That's it. Ric Flair is the GOAT of our wrestling, bar none. John Cena does not even compare to flipping Ric Flair. No one does not compare to Ric Flair. No one. Except the older wrestlers, you know? So, I'm glad she's out. I'm assuming there's more to it than her injury. You know? I guess she had another breast surgery. I don't know if that's really true or not true. I guaranteed that she never done that. Do you think she'll get a major push? Probably not. So, I'm her from her... Before when McMahon hires these lovely, beautiful, gorgeous ladies and their breasts are not that sexy or good looking, you know, sticking out, you know, like big enough. You know what I'm trying to say? Sorry. They won't push them. So McMahon, I don't think this is really true, that McMahon pays for the women's surgery, you know, breast implants. If that's the case, then that's why Charlotte gives these great opportunities. More than the other ladies. That's not really fair. But this is not true. Then maybe she just gets time off. I don't know. Downtime. And then have a, um, this kind of surgery, you know. So I don't know. Now for guys. There are some guys in the company. Take steroids though. For WWE or any wrestling promotion. I remember someone did an interview with John Cena a while back. And of course he denies it. I know he works out. I guarantee most of the guys, even the top guys, probably um, do steroids, probably in, do injection. You never know. Do, they do anything to get over. Jim Mahal, 
He was a scrawny little crap back in the day. And then before you know it, he pumped iron, probably took steroids or whatever, pop pills in his mouth. And then he gets a major push. Same thing with um, Drew McIntyre. Before, he was nothing. Then he worked out, popped some pills or whatever. Then he sold over. He's a WWE Universal Champion right now. That's what McMahon likes. He liked them big beast guys, you know? Randy Orton, that's why he's in great shape. Or you never know, maybe he took steroids. You never know. He got in trouble a couple of times. I'm surprised he never got fired. So, that's why these wrestlers back in the day, or you never know now, they pop pills and, like, like um, from injuries, they want to keep popping pills and eventually... They die. And the girl, you know, he was taking drugs. Not good. You know, like pain medicine. That's good to take. Me that's good to take pain pills, medicine, but don't overdose it. That's not good. You'll still be here today. You know. But you know, these wrestlers want to put the risk. The bodies online every single night. They're aching. They're aching. Go to a doctor. Get medicine. Don't keep popping those damn pills in your mouth. Jeff Hardy has some issues with medicine, you know. He do high risk, high risk maneuvers for us, and then of course we like these high risk maneuvers. And then when he, when the wrestlers get older, and um, and they can't hardly really walk down the aisle because they put on they put their bodies on line for years and years and years, and the only way they could walk is popping their pills in their damn mouth. That's not a good thing. That's a horrible thing. So, they're just addicted to drugs, like everyone else is. Of course, McMahon would never, ever admit to it. So, is it really worth your body to risk your body online to these high-risk maneuvers, like jump out of a ladder or go through a damn table? I know it's all sports entertainment. I know it's all about the money for the wrestler, but is it really worth it? I don't think so. Have a go on what you're honest with. I put in on the... Uh, on the article and the video from Ric Flair, the Nature Boy, are you glad to see no Charlotte Flair or not? Do you guys miss her? I guarantee you, when she comes back, she'll be in a title picture, just like um, um, Roma Reigns. You know, if you get that, if you get that special name, you get special treatment later. Sorry if those, this video does not make any sense. Have a good one. Enjoy your rest of your Sunday. I'll be tomorrow when I do my. Payback review later.